So we're here in Premiere Pro. On the screen over here, you can see our source is a screen recording video. That's what we are going to use. I've gone ahead, I've chosen in point, I've chosen out point. Let's just drag it in our workspace just, just for the sake of it. It's obviously not going to be in the actual video over here. But again, we just want to show you the example of how this works. So you can see also here in the video, this is the program, that this is what it would look like if I exported right now. We don't want that. That's boring. It's standard. We want to change it and make it a little fancier. So right click that. Go to replace with After Effects composition. It will open After Effects. Now it will give you this dialog box. You can see that I just made this video, but I'm redoing it. So I'm gonna name it Screen Roll and just overwrite that save. You can name it whatever you want, then save the project. All you're doing is just making an After Effects project, same as you would anything else. Down here is the only place you need to worry about. Drop this down, drop down the transform. And then over here, there will be a little 3D tool. Check that. Now your footage is in a 3D workspace. You'll have this gizmo for each axis pop up. We're not going to use the gizmo. We're just going to go ahead down here to orientation and use the X, Y, and Z coordinates down here. On X, I'm going to rotate it back a little bit like that. On Y, I'm going to rotate it like this. And then on Z, I'm going to rotate it like that, perhaps. I, I, let's say I like this, right? Now on the scale, you can see that we have black areas back here. We don't want that. So I'm going to increase the scale to about 125. And I'm going to take the position and push it over a little bit just so we kind of get more of this framed in a better way. And okay, so now that you've changed your scale, your orientation and your position, you're good to go. You can you can leave it at this or you can take it to the next level, which is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and keyframe our scale at the beginning here. Let's go a little bit of ways in. So let's say we want to watch the footage up to here without anything changing. We'll keyframe it again here. So now nothing between here and here will be changed. Then when we get to this keyframe right here, let's say we want to go a little bit ahead to about there and we want to zoom the scale into let's say like 148 ish right so now obviously between this point and that point it zooms in which is nice and let's say we don't like the position of everything so we're going to keyframe the position back before we change anything about the scale and then when it zooms in it will also move when we change our you know x coordinate here and we can also highlight all these right click go to keyframe assistant and easy ease and that'll just make everything look a little bit smoother when it plays back and let's just say, hey, we like this, right? We have our screen recording, it's now 3D, we've added some animation and some motion to it, we can call it done, or we can do one more thing which will really make it feel realistic, like maybe if you're pointing a camera at it, for instance. What we can do is go down here to this empty space right below our timeline, right click, go to new, and then go to camera. Now, we wanna make sure that our camera settings are set up that we want. In my case, I'm gonna keep it exactly as it is. I'm not gonna name it, I'm not gonna change the focal length, we're gonna keep it just like that. Press okay. Go down here, drop this down, keep this keyframe open by the way, it'll help you in a minute. Go to camera options, turn on depth of field, and then under aperture, right now you'll notice that nothing is out of focus, like depth of field doesn't look like it's applied, but that's just because our aperture is low. Let's bring that to about a thousand, I'd say, is probably a good range to start with. And now you can see that this part of the text, this side of the frame, is blurred out. And if there was anything on this side, you could see that the lines here are slightly blurred. And that's because our focus is set to the center here. We want to bring that focus over by taking our focus distance and sliding it down. I think about 4,800 should do it for me. And now we can see that all the names are in focus and half the text is in focus. And that's fine for the time being. Let's scroll down, find these keyframes, go back right before we change the scale. And now we'll use this point of keyframe to reference when our focus should now shift. So that way when we zoom in, everything will be in focus. Right now it's aesthetically pleasing, but when you zoom in, you might want the audience to actually be able to read it. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and change our focus distance and our aperture. We'll keyframe both of those. Now let's scroll back down, click this button. So we go to the end, wherever that animation stops. And now we'll change the aperture and we'll change the focus distance. I'm gonna bring the focus distance a little bit more centered, 4950, I'd say. And then under aperture, we're actually going to bring that down to about 300-ish. And now you'll see that there's more in focus across the actual frame than there was before. And if we play the whole thing back now, this is what we get. Now to finish this up, press Command S, you can go back to Premiere Pro, and you'll see that this has now changed color because it's labeled as a actual dynamic link, which is how you know After Effects works with Premiere. You can save that and you're done. So I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you wanna see more After Effects tutorials like this, check out the channel. Leave a comment below about what you wanna learn next in After Effects or Premiere Pro or DaVinci whatever um and i will see you uh i'll see you soon and the video that we're working on you know that this clip was from is also coming out soon so i'll see you i'll see you in that till then
Goodbye.